Hi guys, Ken here. I'm in the lower Pecos region of Texas in the southwest corner of the state. It's somewhat remote here, but this area has attracted people for over 11,000 years. Join me in the adventure to find out why. The area is like an immortal storyteller. Vast canyons were etched in limestone over 70 million years ago after a time when warm shallow seas covered the area. These canyons remember both human habitation and several geological and climatic changes. The area is bounded by three rivers, the Pecos to the west, the Devils to the east, and the Rio Grande to the south. The rivers probably attracted the area's earliest human inhabitants. Nearly 12,000 years ago, nomadic hunters entered the lower Pecos region. They enjoyed abundant food, including rabbit, mammoth, and bison. Herds of camels, horses, and elephants roamed the rich, fertile land. These people took shelter in the canyons. Although the area is drier than it was in prehistoric times, many of the same plants still grow here today. Melinda, a rock art foundation guide, explains. This other plant is Soto, and both of them have a bulb underneath that were um, harvested and put in bake ovens. They actually found remnants of it when they excavated the site we're going in, and um, they would bake them for several days and then eat them as they came out, kind of like an artichoke. You just sort of peel it back like an artichoke. I hiked to several rock shelters during my week-long visit to the Lower Pecos. Here, I am at the Fate Bell Shelter in Seminole Canyon. About 4,000 years ago, people lived in this shelter, with different areas designated for sleeping, cooking, etc. They slept on woven mats on the ground. Over a period of four to 6,000 years, the walls were extensively decorated with pictographs. Several different styles were used, representing their beliefs and what was important in their lives. The oldest style, the Pecos River style, is the oldest religious art form in Texas and possibly the Americas. We can only imagine the preparations involved in production of major pictographs, some of which are over 30 feet across. In many shelters, designs were also carved into the rocks. This rectangle, for example, is exactly oriented northeast, south, and west. I wonder, how did they do that? Several grinding holes on this surface. Um, they ground food, nuts, um, um, some of the paint pigments even in these. Some of the other shelters, they're as long as my arm. Very cylindrical too, it's amazing. And they, um, some of the early people that came out here actually found stone lids. On Sections of selected shelters were designated as restrooms. Yes, this is human poop, thousands of years old. Graffiti from recent historic times may also be seen in rock shelters. This is from the railroad construction era, circa 1884. Remnants of the roadbed for the Southern Pacific Railroad may also be seen. Constructed in 1882, it was abandoned in 1892. And here is their bake oven. In spite of the harsh environment, there are many photo opportunities for wildflowers and wildlife.
The lower Pecos region is our portal to the past. Preservation is a growing concern. Valuable sites are now threatened due to human activity. Some archaeologists believe that our children may be the last generation to see this rock art due to their rapid rate of deterioration. What happens to these ancient treasures depends on our decisions about the importance of preserving the past.